Yeah, it, it, we had inclement weather yesterday, so of course we had uh, players that were delayed. Uh, 27 players uh, set to play a little extra golf on Friday, including former champion Tiger Woods, who had five holes left to play on Friday morning. And Tiger, I mean, yesterday, you know, there was some consistency there in his game, but uh, it didn't start well today. He had two bogeys in his final five holes, and here he is missing a birdie putt on three. He had just birdied, sorry, he had just birdied three. That's the bogey putt on four. And then also follow that up here on the fifth, going for par. And he misses this one as well. So he goes bogey, bogey, birdie, bogey, bogey. And so now he's six, he's one over. A little chip here. And look at that, ooh, that's more like that's it. That's what we wanna see. That's more like it. That's what we wanna see from Tiger Woods. Uh, nice job there as he gets uh, that one to drop for birdie. So, a couple of bogeys, a couple of birdies. Tiger's doing all right. He's through six holes, getting ready to play seven. All right, so let's head out to Augusta National, where our guys, Kyle Porter and Rick Gaiman, are there. Taking it all in, gentlemen, uh, let's start with Tiger Woods, just because of what we've seen from him so far. Obviously, finishing up his first round, didn't necessarily get off to the great start. Uh, there might be some, some stiffness in the back there, but uh, Kyle, Rick, I'll ask you guys, in terms of what you've seen from Tiger so far, it seems to be a bit of a mixed bag as he gets his second round started. Yeah, it, it definitely is. You know, we were out here late last night. Uh, as we're walking back to the press building, uh, we actually walked by the champion's uh, parking lot, and we saw Tiger uh, just kind of resting against his car. He looked exhausted. Yes. And the reason for that, JSL, is this is an exhausting week anyway, and I think even more so because of some of the weather that we've gotten, Rick. It's not just the delays. It's not just the rain. It's not just the moving of tee times. It's also this wind that is just uh, mentally and physically very difficult to battle against when you're out here trying to get something under par. I think he's done it pretty well so far. The short game's been really good at times and saved him some strokes. Uh, and I think he's, uh, I don't know, it's going to be a battle all day, but it looks like right now at least he's inside the cut line. Yeah, I think he's at this point probably a favorite to, to, to make the cut. There's a lot of golf left to, to be played. I, I thought I thought Thursday was awesome. You know, I thought yeah. that he that he held it together. He uh, had a, a bunch of really nice saves. He showed some shots that I thought were, were not going to be available because of, of rust and lack of competitive rounds. But the, the reason start this morning was carnage for everybody not not just Tiger Woods who made a couple of bogeys but we saw uh, some of those final holes there 14 15 uh, through 18 just eat guys alive and really raised the scoring average and uh, you know Tiger looks a little bit different you know he looks like he is more stiff he looks like uh, the body might be aching a, a lot more than it was in the opening round we, we heard the roar for that that chip in there for birdie which is going to go a long way uh, like I said, JSL, he's probably now uh, a favorite to make the cut, but there's there's a lot of ways that this thing can can still go from here. Is this one of those instances, guys, where you have the delay like this? Like uh, we were talking about this before we came on. It's a little surprising that these guys who still have yet to play and then have to quick turnaround to get back on the course. I know it's the same for everybody in terms of having that quick turnaround, but shouldn't there be an instance where maybe these guys are put into a later tee time versus having to turn things around within 30, 45? Five minutes. Well, the tee times are the tee times. They're they're not they're not moving around whether you're a, a five-time major winner or a zero-time major winner. And yeah, it's a you know it's going to be really interesting, Rick, at the end of Friday to see um, what the better draw was mm -hmm. because the the very obvious better draw, at least on in round one, was if you went off early like Bryson DeChambeau did uh, and shot 65. That was a great draw yeah. because the, the later draw was a stroke, a stroke and a half uh, more difficult, and you have the quick turnaround uh, after finishing up uh, on Friday morning. But 
you know, we're going to see this afternoon that might flip around and it might it might kind of even out as the day moves on. Yeah, they call this the the rub of the green, right? You get what you get. If yeah. you get a little unlucky, that's fine. You get a little lucky, it's, it's you know, it happens. And uh, luck is certainly a big part of this game. I'm, I'm really interested in, in what Kyle just brought up. Right now, there is a clear winner to the draw. I'm not sure that if we check back in in, you know, 12 hours or so, if that winner is going to be as clear. The, the, the gusts for this afternoon and the, the sustained winds are, are going to be difficult. The course is going to continue to dry out. We're getting a lot of sunshine now. Uh, as more foot traffic gets onto these putting surfaces, it's going to be harder to roll the ball. I, I think this is going to even itself out. And even though some of those guys had to wake up early, play extra holes, have a quick turnaround, they might be laughing as they eat dinner in the clubhouse as everybody else has to play in these uh, more difficult conditions. Yeah, we've got some good golfers that are going to be teeing off in those uh, last final groups this afternoon.